Okay, welcome to this video on um, setting up the advanced search and family browser and project browser for the first time. And I've got family browser open over here. I'll just pin this open while we're showing this off and, and working on this. I've got um, my library preset up here. I've got four different groups and there's roughly about 1200 odd families in this li library collection. Up until now we've had quick search where we can quickly search for families um, by family name. So in this case I've typed in Bolt here and it's picked up all the families within my library here that has an instance of Bolt in the name. Some of our customers have asked, especially structural engineers, um, whether they can do searches by family type names or parameter values etc. Up until now we have not been able to do that but we have now added an advanced search feature which can be found down in this bottom right corner the little uh, magnifying glass. So if I click on that it will pop up this with this uh, message box to say that the family database hasn't been initialized yet would you like to do that? I'm going to click on yes for that and it will pop up another um, dialog box saying that you've had have a 1245 families in my family browser library um, would you like to index them and it does take a little while um, between one and two seconds per family depending where your families are located whether it needs to temporarily upgrade those families to 2013 to pull out the information and what type of families those are the size of the families I'm going to go OK on that um, and it's something that you might want to run at a lunch time or uh, when you leave work um, just to do this first step of initializing the family database this is a one time only sort of thing to do your whole library collection and you'll notice that it gives you a bit of feedback of how far it's through um, what family it's working on and you'll notice in my case here because I haven't upgraded my um, library to 2013 it's doing a temporary upgrade of each of the families to pull out the information that is required. So I'm going to just pause this video here and come back a little later on when it gets to closer to the end of this first stage and we'll see how long that takes. Okay you can see we're getting near finished now um, there's only about 45 families to go it's still doing the upgrade thing on them um, so the majority of my family library here is in um, version 2012 so I'd expect this to go a lot lot faster if the, your families are already in the 2014 format there'd be no need for it to do this family upgrade um, another thing while it's doing this first stage of the indexing you are locked out of Revit um, so either plan to do this first stage during a lunchtime or when you leave leave work or on another session of Revit um, obviously depending how big your family library is um, on the last family now okay so it's told me to do my um, 1200 families so it's just over 17 minutes uh, it took 0.82 of a second per family so that's reasonably fast um, considering it was doing an upgrade on the majority of those now it has started another process in the background here if I just drag this over um, and it's actually now populating the search database it's given me an approximate time left um, what family it's up to and a percentage it's through this so this is on a separate thread computer thread CPU thread so I can close this here um, that's still working in the background and I can go back into using Revit just inserted an RPC family there so um, if I just open go back to there it's still populating the extracted information from each family and now populating this into the database depending on the families it can take a while as well um, but it is on another thread so it's not holding you up I can't activate the um, the advanced search until it's finished so it's saying it's still populating the database try again once it's finished so that's fine there we go it's back again um, depending on how many parameters each family's got and how many types some of those structural steel types uh, families with say 500 odd types it can take a wee while to push that in, into the database 
So once again I'm just going to pause this video and come back to it when that is near finished. Okay we're getting near the end here now. Um, so it's getting near the end of um, populating the database. Obviously depending on the speed of your computer it will depend on how fast this goes. Um, I'm running this on an old Pentium 4 or 5 year old computer um, which is my development computer so it's certainly no beast. Um, you'll notice that uh, the, some of these structural sections are taking quite a wee while um, per section. Um, they tend to have a, a lot of type, family types and a lot of parameters. So it just takes a wee while to push them into the database. Okay, couple more to go. A few more seconds. Last family here, or last couple of families here. Okay, and that's finished. Um, total time taken to index the families into the database was just uh, um, nearly 13 minutes, just 12.9 minutes. So once that's done, we can go close, and now we are ready to use the advanced search by clicking on the magnifying glass. Now I'll show you how that works in the next video of the series.